When I hear the word Hubble, this is what I think of. More than any other image that Hubble has taken, this is the most inspiring image for me. And I'm sure I'm not alone in that. Easily one of the most popular targets for amateur astrophotographers. The uh, pillars of creation, so named for the creation of stars within those columns, is at the center of the Eagle Nebula. After a successful galaxy season, I was eager to start shooting emission nebula and which one, which would be better than going for that Eagle Nebula. May 6 is when I started. And it was about 1.30. see not very high up also it was rising out of the light dome so probably not the best time to uh, take a shot of it but I was really looking forward to shooting this I'd been planning to shoot this for nearly a year so here's a rough framing estimate with my edge 8 and the 294 mono so this would be a Hubble palette image that I would be shooting to, with the uh, hydrogen, oxygen, and sulfur. So this is the third time I'm shooting the Eagle Nebula. The first time was back in 2018. And uh, this is with RGB filters. I was using the ASI mono-cooled camera. And um, I was still pretty pretty new at astrophotography so you can see there's a lot of problems here with this image uh, definitely either the exposure or the gain or both weren't correct and uh, to be fair this was also in a uh, Bortle class 8 I don't remember the details of this picture I remember at the time I was just glad to uh, pick up some of that HA my next attempt was in August 2019. Same camera, same telescope, same location in that Bordel 8, uh, but this time with narrowband. And uh, narrowband really makes a difference. Also, uh, an extra year's worth of experience certainly didn't hurt. So before I show the final image for 2021, I want to show what the uh, raw subs look like. Now, my session was actually cut short. I wanted to get uh, at least six or seven hours per channel, uh, but the weather has been extremely bad. I haven't had clear skies in nearly five weeks. So I decided to just um, process what I had. And so we only have a couple hours here of S2. And as noted in the uh, Stellarium view, I started with S2. All this S2 data was shot with it very low in the sky and uh, right over my light dome. And here's the O3. Only a couple hours worth of O3. Still looks pretty good. This target has a lot of O3. For those folks that are running a uh, one-shot color camera, a filter like the L Extreme would do well on the Eagle Nebula. And last but not least, HA. HA is such a strong signal. And of course I have five hours worth. So this is actually really clean for just five hours. Stars are nice and round. And 
And let's take a look at that final image. So the typical Hubble palette, sulfur is mapped to red, hydrogen alpha is on green, and uh, oxygen is to blue. And unlike my 2019 shot, where there's no green in here, I remember I used that SC and R tool and Pixin site and just obliterated the green. But uh, since then, I've come to appreciate leaving a little bit of green in there. I like the subtle color transitions that you get. And I think the detail is pretty decent. So I'd love to hear what you guys think. How do you think uh, this compares to my previous attempts? Should I spend more time getting more data? I really wanted to get more data to see if I can pull out more resolution in these dust lanes. Comments are certainly welcome. Any questions, certainly welcome. Let me know if there's any interest in seeing a processing video on this. Uh, last processing video I uh, published, the uh, SHO with uh, One Shot Color, hasn't gotten a whole lot of attention. So I'm not sure if uh, people are actually interested in watching an hour-long video with someone processing their data. So let me know in the comments. Anyway, clear skies.